All right, guys, so here we are. We're boiling down our sap for a part of our collaboration with the Mindful Homestead and the Lost Nation Homestead. We'll come back to this in a little bit. All right, guys, so first thing we're going to do is put a little, some syrup in here. I've already filled it. It's filled out to about here. This is utilizing a hydrometer. Then we're going to drop the hydrometer in, and we want it to be at this level here for syrup. And it's going to overfill, which is the problem I always have when I'm using this thing. Now I've got it down to about here. Add a little bit more. I don't think it's ready because it hit the bottom like that. So I've got enough syrup in there this time. But it's obviously going down quite a bit, so we still need to boil down some more. So we'll go ahead and put the syrup back in. Now, one of the mistakes we made is when we're boiling it, what you want to do is you want to scoop off all this, all this stuff off the top. But it stayed on the pan, so it'll be okay. Um, if you scoop that off, it'll keep all the sediment outside of the... Um, the syrup, but we're gonna filter it again anyway. Okay, starting to form a skin here. I don't know if you can see at the tip of the spoon here. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Starting to form a skin that's trailing behind it. So it's almost ready. I forgot about the stage. So let's go ahead and check it and see where we're at. This may be a little too much, but we'll find out. Well, it's still not ready. It wasn't floating. And typically, we wouldn't do this in the house. We would normally boil the sap outside, but where we only had a small bucket and we don't have our stuff set up outside just yet to start boiling, we did a first batch inside. This is where you really got to be careful though, because see how fast it's boiling? This is going to get to a point where it's, it turns really quick. And then you end up with maple sugar. <laughs> we did that a couple years ago. It was, so it was a happy accident, and it was really good. And turn down the heat just a little bit here. Right, I'm gonna try again. Almost there. But where it's so shallow in the pan, I'm getting nervous.
Now I should also use a, a temperature or a thermometer and test it, but I'm just skipping that stage right now. right there. I don't know if you saw that. It was starting to float. Probably another minute, minute and a half. Camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. Let's see if we do this. Just not. It's because I went into the steam. Is there any sap in there? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. There we go. If you can see in there, it's floating right at that red line, which means it's ready. And we're not going to get much out of this at all. Now I should strain this, but I don't have any cheesecloth, so we're just going to go straight into the thing. Almost got a full jar. Not too bad for our first batch. Got about three quarters. Now we're gonna cap this. And that'll seal itself, but in order to make sure it's sealed really good, pardon me for our dinner pan. Our, we're just gonna tip it on its side. I'm gonna rotate it all the way around. That's just going to help it seal. And I'll just stand it back up. That's it. That way they would put a nice sugar coating around the bottom and help, help it to seal really good. Take a look at that in the light. Look at that. We had good color. There it is. Look at that color. Stop it. Look at that coloring. 